guys, so working with onions today, you've seen a little bit of the journey. I posted some videos of me planting onions and now we're at the harvest stage. I have let them, I pulled them from the garden and now they've been curing, which means that their, their paper is just getting um, papery. crumbly, yeah, papery, and their tops have dried out. So now I'm hanging them for storage. And when I pick out onions, when I order them in the spring, um, in the winter, out of the catalog, I usually go for ones where they say like they store really good, because that's my goal, is to make my onions last all year long. So here is one way that I've done them, where I've just braided the, braided the long stems, and then I tied it with a rubber band. The thing that I have discovered with this in the past is sometimes they break and can fall off. And the rubber band, as, that, as the stems dry further, you want a rubber band so that it tightens with it. Um, you couldn't do like a twisty tie because that wouldn't shrink with the shrinking uh, stems. But I just did a little research and here's what I'm trying this year. So I'm gonna do a little experiment and see what works better. So I take my onions and I, you know, if any of the paper is really papery, I trim it off and then I trim off the root and then I leave about, my scissors is really good today, like that. And then I have taken a loop of twine and on one of the strings, it's on this back one, I tie, I wrap around and then I slide it down and that's all there is to it. So I'm hoping that this works really well. I've done a few with shallots Shallots is like a oniony garlic. They're really good. So I'll hang these in the basement, kind of in a cool, dry place. And my hope is they'll last us all year. So it's kind of a fun job. <laughs> 